Watch you guys got another video here for you now if you're receiving the no image file detected when you're doing a BIOS update then this video is for you it's a bit of an easy fix if you know what you're doing but people seem to be getting this quite a lot and I wanted to clear this up and show you how to properly flash your BIOS if you're receiving this error message then you'll have this problem resolved in no time at all now whether your motherboard is an ASRock motherboard like this or whether it's an MSI motherboard, Gigabyte, Asus, whatever it is, you'll be able to do this method to resolve this issue and be able to flash your BIOS uh, successfully. You can see here we've got an old BIOS here. This is the B450 Steel Legend and it says L2.32. That is the UEFI version of this BIOS and uh, we can go ahead and check that and find out whether there's a BIOS update for it. So you can see here, this is the error message you might be getting when you go to flash it. You can see no image file detected. It says over on the right hand side here, save UEFI files in your USB storage device and run instant flash to update your UEFI. Please note that your USB flash drive must be FAT32, FAT16 or FAT12 file system. You will not be able to flash or update or upgrade the BIOS uh, when you're using uh, say NTFS or anything like that okay so the flash drive will need to be uh, FAT32, uh, FAT16 or 12 we're going to be using FAT32 and I'll show you how you can set up your USB flash drive to uh, be able to flash it properly. So first off you need to go to your manufacturer's uh, motherboard website and go to the motherboard section and look for your motherboard. This is the first mistake that people make. You need to get the exact motherboard uh, for the BIOS that you're trying to flash. In this case, it's the Steel Legend series. Now, in my case, it's an AMD B450, and you'll see there's two options, the B450M, and there's the B450 Steel Legend uh, series here, which is the ATX. One's a micro ATX, and one's an ATX. We're gonna go to the support page of our a motherboard which in my case is an ATX version not the micro ATX if you try and do the micro ATX it will not flash it won't work go into support BIOS and then read please read this information below before downloading or upgrading your BIOS we do not recommend users update their BIOS if their system already is running normally that means they're recommending you don't update your BIOS if you're having no issues whatsoever and uh, you having no hardware problems. I've made a video about this. It's entirely up to you whether you flash your BIOS, but if you do choose to do it, then read all of the uh, information on the screen, okay? And then choose how to flash your BIOS. It will show you how to flash it using the instant flash for the ASRock motherboard, and it will tell you exactly what to do. This is where people make their biggest mistake. They choose the wrong motherboard. They don't look at the model number, and they get the wrong version of BIOS file and it won't flash, okay, or upgrade. It will ask you to read their terms of service and agree to that and then you can understand and agree and it will let you download the file. Once you get this, you can then open this up and put it onto your USB flash drive. So we're gonna to go to right click on the start button and go to disk management. Inside here, this is where we'll be able to see our flash drive. We need to make it uh, acceptable for the BIOS to be flashed properly, which is FAT32. So let me just quickly format uh, and make this unallocated. You can see it here. We've got a 58.28 uh, gigabyte flash drive, which is a, a 64 gig flash drive. Create a new simple volume, and uh, this will then open up and allow us to create a new simple volume for that particular flash drive. Once the box pops up, what we want to do is go next, and you will see here it gives us all of the size of the flash drive. If I go ahead and click next again and next again, there won't be an option for FAT32. And that's because the drive is 64 gigabytes. So we need to go back and make sure that you go next and then select, say for instance, 2000, which will be say two gigabytes in size. That's gonna be big enough for what we need. Click next, then next again, and now on the file system, you'll be able to select FAT32. You can now call this whatever you like. I'm gonna call it BIOS. And basically, once we've done that, it will do a quick format of that um, flash drive. You can see we're not using all of the space. We're just using a small portion of it, and that's how we can get our FAT32. Gonna open up our file here, and then we're gonna drag this onto 
the actual USB flash drive here. You can see that we've got two files here. We've got the zip file which we just downloaded and we've also got the file that was inside of that and we've dragged it out. That is the file that we're going to be using to flash our BIOS. So we're going to plug in our USB flash drive. You can try to plug this into a USB 2.0 but I'm going to plug this straight into the front panel of my computer which is a USB 3.0 uh, port so I'm just going to plug it in there and turn on the computer now on my motherboard it says tap F2 to get into the BIOS or you can push F5 and keep tapping that to go straight into the flashing menu of this motherboard so I'm going to go to F2 here and go into the actual BIOS so I can show you inside here so we're going to tap F2 and keep tapping that until you get the display and the post screen coming up on the screen here it will come up on your monitor screen now mine is pointing down in the bottom right hand corner, yours might be in the middle and it will tell you which key to tap to get into your BIOS. Once you're inside here, this is your BIOS and this will tell you that we are running uh, this BIOS here. We need to go to the tool section here so we can flash our BIOS. Once you're inside here, you can use your little cursor keys here to navigate down and we're going to click on instant flash. Once we get this, it will tell us this is our BIOS that we're going to instant flash, which is the new uh, version, which is the 3.20 version. OK, so we're going to click update. And this will then say, do you want to update your UEFI to version 3.20? And we're going to say yes. And then what will happen is it will warn you not to power off the computer. Don't touch the computer. Just let it go ahead and start to upgrade uh, your BIOS to the latest version. Now this does take a bit of time so be patient but I'll speed this process up so you don't have to sit around waiting but basically that is the reason why you're not being able to flash your BIOS and that is because one you are either using uh, the NTFS file system or some other file system and not FAT32 or you've downloaded the wrong BIOS file for your motherboard and it's not recognizing it. So let's go back into our BIOS here and you can see UEFI version uh, B450 Steel Legend P320 uh, and that is the latest version. Now that was on an older version which I'll show you in a second. You can see here it's the B450 Steel Legend L2.32. Anyway that's basically about it. That's how you can resolve that problem. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.